SAS Studio provides a very powerful interactive development environment for us. However, it's important to recognize and keep in mind that SAS Studio is not a local tool that we would run on. It is a remote tool that we're connecting to from the open web and loading back into the browser. So for that reason, please be mindful as you are doing your work and avoid quick and repeated actions that can cause unexpected behavior. Things like running a job quickly, executing it, killing it immediately, resubmitting jobs quickly can result in phantom processes still being left on the remote SaaS cluster itself, continuing to run, even though it seems that you have closed it in your browser itself. Secondly, given that SaaS Studio is a remote tool itself and is being loaded in the browser, we need to make sure that there are sufficient local resources in order to visualize and load all the content that's being returned back from the SaaS servers into your browser. Things to kind of watch out for, if you run into out of memory errors in the browser, make sure that you don't have so many tabs open and make sure that there aren't too many things just running uh, locally on your machine. If you run into these particular places, recommendation is to close the browser, restart it, or even restart your computer to make sure that there aren't other long running processes that might be taking up a lot of local resources on your machine, such as memory that's gonna be required to, to load SAS into the browser itself. Finally, another area is that given that SAS Studio is a, essentially a remote tool that's being accessed from the browser, we recommend that when you're running your jobs, for jobs that run for long periods of time, please try to submit them as background jobs. By doing so, you can avoid foreground, foreground jobs running into connectivity issues, which could be the result of you know, intermittent VPN connectivity or even simply you know, issues with your own local Wi-Fi going down. And this is to call, to call out separate from any known issues that might be going on within the network, uh, in the platform and on the hit side. Even when things are healthy with the network connectivity for our platform, just random disconnectivity, you know, issues with connections with your own local Wi-Fi to SaaS tools if jobs are running within the program can cause them to fail abruptly and unexpectedly. Summarize with best practices in general, uh, please ensure that you do not have too many tabs open. Please wait for SaaS Studio to respond to any actions you make before making and taking subsequent actions. Run jobs in the background as much as possible. And finally, as you are running your particular jobs to avoid any loss of temporary files that might be generated during a long job run. Please make sure to write those temporary files into your workbench through a library rather than writing it in the SAS temporary directories.